Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the constant noise and distractions in life? Imagine stepping away from it all, finding a quiet space to breathe, reflect, and feel truly at peace. Did you know there's incredible wisdom in spending time alone? Jesus taught us the value of stepping back from the world to focus on our relationship with God and find clarity in our lives. In today's video we'll explore the powerful lessons from the teachings of Jesus about the beauty of solitude. From drawing closer to God to discovering your true purpose, solitude can be the key to unlocking inner peace and spiritual growth. Let's start with the first transformative lesson choosing solitude over harmful company. Jesus showed us the importance of being mindful of our relationships, as those around us greatly influence our hearts and actions. When we spend time alone, we can avoid negative influences, connect more deeply with God, and protect our spirit. The first teaching of Jesus is solitude. Solitude is a chance to pause, reflect, and grow into the person God created us to be. Jesus often stepped away from the crowds to pray and reflect, showing us the power of solitude in deepening our relationship with God. When you pull back from the busyness and distractions of daily life, you create space to reflect on your thoughts, actions, and goals. This quiet time helps you recognize your strengths, see areas for growth, and focus on what truly matters. When you look inward you seek clarity and purpose through prayer and reflection. By spending time alone with God, you can align your actions with His will, strengthen your faith, and find a deeper sense of peace. The journey to becoming your best self starts when you take the time to step away, reflect, and listen for His guidance. Loneliness can feel difficult, but it can also be a powerful time for personal growth. Think about the story of Jesus in the wilderness. He spent 40 days alone, fasting and praying, facing challenges and temptations. Yet, through that solitude, he grew stronger in his mission and closer to God. This teaches us that seasons of loneliness are not a sign of being abandoned, they are opportunities for growth and renewal. When we feel alone, it's a chance to turn inward and seek God's presence more deeply. Jesus often withdrew to quiet places to pray and reflect, showing us the value of stepping away from distractions. In those moments of quiet we can pour out our hearts to God, reflect on our lives, and find strength in His love. Loneliness allows us to discover inner resilience and rely on God for comfort and guidance. It can turn what feels like a difficult time into an opportunity to deepen our faith and become stronger. Just like Jesus found clarity and purpose in the wilderness, we too can use these moments to reflect on who we are, grow in our faith, and find direction for our lives. Remember, even in the loneliest moments, God is with you, providing love, strength, and hope. For example, imagine you've just moved to a new city for a job. You don't know anyone, your family is far away, and your evenings feel empty and quiet. It's easy to feel isolated and question your purpose in this unfamiliar place. But think of how Jesus spent 40 days alone in the wilderness, using that time to connect deeply with God and prepare for his mission. You could do something similar. Instead of letting the silence make you feel down, set aside time each evening to pray and talk to God about your worries and hopes. Maybe you keep a journal, writing about your experiences and what you're grateful for, and asking for guidance. Use the quiet to reflect on your goals why you took this new job and how you can grow through it. Over time you might discover unexpected clarity about your purpose or even a new sense of strength in relying on God. Even in this lonely season you'll find that God is there with you, helping you grow in ways you never imagined. The Bible reminds us that each of us will stand alone before God to answer for our lives, so then each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. This verse emphasizes the importance of personal responsibility and the need to grow in our faith and character. Solitude gives us the space to reflect on our actions, intentions, and the path we are walking without the influence of others. It allows us to examine our hearts, recognize our strengths and weaknesses, and focus on becoming the people God created us to be. Being alone helps us develop resilience and inner strength, especially in a world filled with pressure to conform. Jesus often withdrew to quiet places to pray and seek God's guidance, teaching us the value of relying on God rather than looking to others for validation. Solitude allows us to deepen our relationship with God, strengthen our spiritual practices, 
and build a faith rooted in his truth. The Bible also shows us powerful examples of individuals who stood firm in their faith despite opposition. There should be an unwavering commitment to demonstrate the strength that comes from trusting God and embracing one's individuality. By spending time alone, we learn to find peace and contentment in God's presence. This self-sufficiency, grounded in faith, helps us stay strong in our beliefs and true to our values. Another valuable lesson that Jesus emphasizes is valuing the power of being an individual. Individuality allows us to walk confidently in the unique purpose God has given us, building a life that honors Him and strengthens our spiritual journey. Detachment from the world is a recurring theme in the teachings of Jesus, guiding us to focus on our spiritual well-being rather than being consumed by the temporary pleasures and material pursuits of life. Jesus reminded us of the fleeting nature of worldly wealth and the dangers of placing it above our relationship with God. He said, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. This teaches us to prioritize spiritual growth, self-purification, and preparing for eternal life over the distractions of earthly possessions. The Bible vividly illustrates the impermanence of worldly things, likening them to flowers that bloom and fade the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Solitude is a powerful way to deepen our relationship with God as it gives us the space to pray, reflect, and grow spiritually. Just like Jesus, who often withdrew to quiet places to pray and seek God's guidance, we can also find moments of peace away from the noise of life. In these moments we connect more deeply with God, allowing ourselves to be refreshed and strengthened in our faith. For example, think about a time when you felt overwhelmed by the pressures of life. Perhaps you were caught up in work or dealing with stressful situations. Now, picture stepping away from it all for just a few moments whether it's finding a quiet place to pray or simply being still. In those quiet moments you feel a sense of peace and clarity. This is the power of solitude, just as Jesus sought solitude to draw nearer to God, we too can find rest and strength in being alone with Him. Spending time alone with God also allows us to reflect on our lives, align our actions with His teachings, and experience His love and guidance more deeply. Jesus Himself said, But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. In solitude we can pray, meditate on scripture, and practice gratitude, which strengthens our relationship with God and helps us grow in faith. Solitude isn't just about being alone, it's about creating the space to hear God's voice and feel His presence. It's an opportunity for self-reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's embrace these moments of quiet, knowing that they are chances to connect more deeply with God and become the people He has called us to be. May you find peace and strength in solitude, and may your heart be open to God's guidance. Thank you for watching, and I pray that you feel His presence in every moment of your life. God bless you. See you guys in the next video.